Not yet, and welcome back, comrades, to Let's Play Geopolitical Simulator 4 Power Revolution 2020 with B. Shibi Swag as the handsome, handsome uh, Shibi Swag right here. Yes. Welcome back, everybody. Hope you're all doing fabulously well. And yes, I know the way that sounded. Okay, don't take it to heart. <laughs> so, in our last episode, um, we gave Ukraine a bunch of money. Got them all nice and friendly. But the Ukraine, Ukrainian Prime Minister has pretty much given us the, the effing finger, you know, when I want to set up a meeting with him, you know, try and form an alliance. Why? I guess because we just have different of opinions. And I don't know if it's because of these guys. Maybe you guys deserve to have this radiation right here for, you know, pissing me off. So, sorry. Not that I have anything against Ukraine in real life, but, you know, in the game, they're just being assholes. So... Uh, like I said in the first episode, our original plan, obviously, was to rebuild the Warsaw Pact, and right now our only ally is Belarus. I did set up a meeting, who's this right here, with uh, Moldova, see if we can get them into the alliance. I don't think I'm going to be able to do this in a traditional sense, so also, let's, here, let's go ahead and get a meeting with uh, Bulgaria. So I believe they were in there, too, so we'll go ahead and get a meeting with them. I'm going to have to just get as much dirt on these countries as I can and then just invade them. Oh, it's Serbia. Let's get the Serbs in the alliance. I think they were. I, I think actually, yeah, Serbia and Bulgaria. I don't know about uh, Pradega, but I think these guys were in the in the Warsaw Pact. Oh, no, I'd have to go Google that. I used to be all up in a, all completely interested in cold war documentaries and everything like that now i can't remember it worth a damn so yeah we are going to have to probably start setting up agents in these areas and if we can get enough dirt on them to declare uh war we'll just have to go in real quick like with our military set up a puppet state and just make them part of the alliance and then overall once we secure enough of the eastern bloc you know, then we can probably move into Poland and then Germany, and we'll we'll go ahead and set off World War Three. Question is, is what is uh, Big Brother USA over here going to do? That's the kicker. Georgia, Florida, Louisiana, Texas, Oklahoma. <laughs> uh, I'm all the way over here. Just so you guys, if you ever want to know, I'm over here. I'm not going to say where, but I'm over here. So, greetings from Lockdown Prison, California. So, who we like to call it. All right. So, let's go ahead and start then with getting our... Oh, yeah. We're still on pause. Let's go ahead and unpause that. Let's get our Secret Service set up here. As I say that with a horrible lift in my F. Uh, documentary on healthcare band. Okay. The famous committed filmmaker Galiana Bulbar was just produced a short film called Healthcare in Russia Crisis and Torment, which she criticized the poor healthcare level of our country. We have immediately ordered the censorship of this documentary and it won't be shown anywhere. Okay, yeah. Traffic is jammed. This press traffic in big cities becoming real headache. Traffic jams are permanent. Now we public trans transport to clear the main roads. This must be had parking and pollution problems. You will therefore agree, Mr. President, that we cannot stand by like you're doing now, looking at me <laughs> presently. I, I guess we are kind of just like standing by and not really doing shit right now, but it's called recon. You know, we're, we're, we're getting our ducks in a row here before we go and do anything that would be very badly uh, detrimental to us but also unemployment so but i guess this could fix a lot of the unemployment here so we can go construction uh we can go main highways do we really no we really don't have that many main highways boy
That would cost $14.7 billion to build. Labor by miles, 10. Oh my God, it would also, God, 31 months. So that's gonna take roughly about two and a half years. And uh, it's gonna cost $17 billion a year, but fuck it. We can afford it. Uh, there, we'll also build some more secondary highways. Uh, medium traffic airport, high traffic port. All right, legislation. Regulate speed limits, limit self-driving vehicles, budget. We'll put more into road, rail, and Oh, that's so much water. I will pump a little bit of, well, not that much. We'll just go a little bit. All right, road maintenance there. Five billion. There, so you have a pretty big highway now, at least connecting this sector, and maybe later on in the game we'll work on over here. There, so there's your transportation, so stop bitching about that. Okay, so... Healthcare obviously was a big one. Prevention, ICU beds. Oh yeah, that's for COVID. But we're on playing the non-COVID version now, so don't need to worry about that right now. Construction, budget. Let's drop these and then start adding into There. We'll go ahead and improve our health care dramatically. And then whatever little money we have left, we can go ahead and fill back in these stars. All right. Actually, we should take that, put more into kind of like hospital treatment. Okay, so overall, this is only going to cost us uh, a billion. Actually, let's take that out. Let's hire on maybe. And go ahead and hire on some more medical staff and give everybody a little bit of a salary boost. Okay. We'll confirm that. And then we'll build about there. We'll build eight new hospitals and confirm. There. That should take care of healthcare pretty good. Let's go ahead and play on that. Moscow to Moscow Highway launching its construction. Traffic is jammed. Yes, I'm working on it. Working on that traffic. We got a lot of things to do in Mother Russia. Okay, I cannot like just, you know, snap my magical fingers and make everything appear all at once. Uh, Secret Service, Sex, FSB, Create Network of Agents. Here we are. All right. Estonia, Political Spying. We'll do 25 agents in Estonia. Why? What, what the hell? How come I don't have no agents? How come I have no agents? Hmm. 
Oh yeah, look at all that public finances. Bah. Why can I not create an agent in Estonia? What in the hell? Oh, because I don't have no agents available. <laughs> oh, okay. That would be why. Uh, I don't need Italy, Mexico, North Korea. No. That would be why. Saudi Arabia. No. Nope. Nope. You know, we're even going to pull them out of the U.S. Just for, just for that. All right. Let that go ahead, and that's going to take a couple days to process. So let's go ahead and skip ahead. Uh, tourism professions complain. Mr. Prime Tourism professionals complain with a few effort in my by the government to facilitate a cross runner visit to different tourist sites in the country. Well, as we do at the end of every year, we have our annual maneuvers that usually always cause World War III almost. To encourage the development of electric coal, I would suggest Mr. President progressively raising the tax on petroleum products just like tobacco. This will undoubtedly yield results in the long term, all while fighting the state's coffers. Uh, petroleum. So you want me to raise tax on like oil and gas and shit Good like morning. that? Good morning! Morocco, hello, what have you got for us? You want to sell me, what do you want? You want to sell me corn. Um, no, thank you, good sir. As you can see, um, oh, well, our average sale price is one for So we're, we're still a little short on corn in terms of consumption and production, but that'll, I subsidize it, so that'll, can we get you for 10, oh, let's try 105. No. 107? Nope. 108, final offer. Uh, how about 116? Okay, they took 116. All right. Well, that's good. We get the corn we need. It's a little bit over the it's a little bit above their purchase price, but still below um let me sell some of you sure i'll go ahead and end the meeting i'm still waiting for these guys all right let's see if we can go ahead and create an uh <laughs> a network now we might be able to create a network of agents uh -oh. After the last few days of major power outages across the nation, a large crowd of demonstrators is currently gathering in the streets of the capital to voice their frustrations. It must be said that the country has reached a crisis point. Crooks are now controlling everyday life, selling black market portable generators, bribing power station management to favor private businesses, and even tapping into power lines from wind farms, from dams, or even from rescue centers to power illegal grids. The government is risking a lot in light of this electric insurrection. I was not made aware we had electricity problems. You know, you all could have said something. Jesus. Oh, I thought I freaking cut like 19. We shouldn't be low on electricity. Um, okay. Uh, political spying. 25. Confirm. All right. Um, blah, 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 blah. We'll go ahead and appear on television. See if that calls everybody down. But we'll also bring in police reinforcements. This is Russia. We don't take shit from nobody. Uh, uprising in Moscow. Troubles in the Moscow. rioters. The rioters have taken con Dramatic The household post. You're concerned. Well done. All right. Well, what have they taken over? <clears throat> as long as they don't get into the parliament building, it's fine. 
Yeah, I think they got it under control. Not worried. Okay, so first thing we need to do. Well, I keep saying first thing. There's a lot of first things we need to do. So electricity. How are we? Holy crap! Okay, that is a that is a, a pretty big deficit. All right. Twenty-eight point one terawatts from one nuclear plant. So I need. So I would pretty much need two third generation nuclear plants. At sixty five billion dollar, well, fifteen billion per year. And let's make it far away from everybody just in case there's a radio active fallout. Oh, I want no radiation. All right. We're going to max out our budget here, guys, to build a couple of new plants. And we'll go ahead and build one right here. All right. You guys may only be out of power for a few months, but it's okay. We're working on it. God, geotherm God these don't produce anything. And they still take fucking four months. All right, we'll see if I can. Let me see if I can buy some electricity here. Let me see if I can buy some electricity. Uh, they cannot offer me anything except they don't have the demand. All they can supply is production cap 30. I have a 19 electricity deficit. All right, so their average sale price is 134. What about Kazakhstan? How are they on electricity? They have three available watts. How about China? Good old big China. You know, I probably should have just set up a meeting with them. Oh wait, I'm not, I don't have them neighboring. Shit, they're not neighbor to me. Yeah, they are. Look, I got a little, there's a little tiny, uh, yeah, I am. I'm bordered with them. Oh, there it is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, let me just go ahead and set up a meeting with China. I'll go ahead and buy my deficit power from them. Uh, we'll go ahead and let that go on. It's fine. The rebels have stopped fighting. Our actions on the ground have definitely made an impression on our opponents. Yeah. Your television. Creation of a new space program. Uh, I can wait. The rioters. Yeah, just let them protest. Now, come on, he, he ain't hurting nobody. Public finances. Oh, okay. Here we are. Meeting. Sure. 
I hope you didn't make... Renegotiated military alliance. I'll give you land passage and two of my bases for one of yours. What do you say? No? Incompatible rights. And how about just land? Hmm. All right, well, you're already an ally, so that's fine. Oh, dear Lord, here we go. Uh, Lunar Atlanta Space Program on Third Territism. We haven't done anything. Oh, dear Lord. And they sent in the fucking army. The situation is... Oh shit, get back in there, get back in there. That was close. Sure. Very cut. Bulgaria. How about we just start with land for right now? How about uh, alliance? I'll give you. Nope. Oh. about non-aggression? No. How about non-aggression with just air? Ow. Oh. Okay, this guy won't really take anything. Well, if he won't take a uh, non-aggression, he won't take anything else. All right. Stop. Contract rejected. Yeah, I kind of had a feeling of that. Oh boy, okay. Let's put this on slow speed. How come you guys are not fucking deploying? Oh, do I seriously have to click and pull one by one? All 
All right, let's go ahead and clear this out then. Fuck it. The 5G revolution boost troubles. This Moscow. is not. No, I don't want the military. A no. Damn it! I don't want to go to space right now. These renegades. No. The situation. No. Without a real. Purchasing power is on the rise. Oh dear lord. Alright, come on, when's my meeting with China? No thanks. Very kind. We take a non aggression. Okay. She did take a non We take a non aggression pack with air rights. Send. Yes you will. We take a support alliance. Yes. How about a full on alliance? Yep, all right. All right. We got Serbia. We just pulled Serbia into the newly reformed Warsaw Pact. Well, that's two allies now. Oh dear lord. Alright, let me go ahead and end this because it's just pissing me off and that'll be a good mark to end the episode. <laughs> Get him, boys. We have subdued the... There. It's over. No more protesting in Moscow. I'm going to get you your guys your power. Just hold on. Long live the king. I am the king, and you will all bow to my whim. Oh, come on, China. I need that meeting with you. I gotta buy your electricity. Thank you. No thanks. Very cut. I want to purchase electricity. Because I'm short about 25 watts. So we'll go, we'll go a little over, just have a little bit of a surplus. They want 3.96 billion, and wow, that's pretty damn close. So let's see if I can lowball them a little bit. No, it won't even take that. Hmm. I might have to just bite the bullet. I'll go to 25 watts at 130. Let's try 125. No? Oh god, that means I'm gonna have to probably pay more what they're asking for. National production of this good does not appear to be sufficient to meet the combined needs of your country and the China. Wait, what? Oh, I want to purchase electricity. What, what the hell does the China? Wait, are they in a deficit for electricity? Because when they were at a surplus. Yeah, they have a, they have like, oh, they have two, oh. Oh, well, hell, I ain't gonna get nowhere with that then. Ah, shit. No. <laughs> Demonstration against misery.
tax on low income is too high and it's the proportion relation. Okay, so. All right. We can create a, a stim little stimulus uh, package of our own in approximately four months. So January, February, March, April. By April, our nuclear power plants will be ready and you guys will have plenty of electricity so you can quit your yapping. But let us take one more. How's our taxation going anyway? Taxation value added tax at 20% income tax. Everybody, how can they say there's any quality? Everybody's taxed equally across the board. Ukrainian troop movements close to Rostovoika. These important troops are positioned near our borders and represent a potential threat to our territorial integrity. Oh. Alrighty. I don't see where they're moving troops. I don't see no troop movements. What the hell are you talking about? There's no troop movements. Ukrainian troops, huh? No, that's Belarus. Ukrainian troops. Faced with this threat, I can, with your agreement, and for security reasons, give marching orders to a few troops. Go ahead. Let's show the Ukrainians you don't fucking mass troops on our border. And in saying that, guys, we will go ahead and end the episode here. I hope you all enjoy. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. I hope you stay safe out there and stay swag. I will see you all in the next one.